charges. Police say a fight in the halls of centralized Lapai School yesterday ended with a single gunshot. As News 12's Nicole Nogit reports, investigators say the victim was not the shooter's intended target. He's a 17-year-old high school student accused of firing a 22 caliber handgun in a crowded hallway at the Central Islip High School. Wayne Mayers is charged with assault, reckless endangerment, and criminal use of a firearm after what police describe as a shoving match turned dangerously violent. One of the uh, young men fell down uh, while he was on the ground. He pulled out a automatic handgun, a 22 caliber gun, and fired one round at uh, one of the kids that he was involved in the altercation with. Police say Mayers was having a fight with two other teens, reportedly over a girl Mayers is dating. But investigators say he missed his intended target and instead hit a ninth grader who was apparently in the wrong place at the wrong time. What was the scene like when this was happening? It was, I can't even remember. It was like, it was all, it happened so fast. So it was, as soon as the gun, gunshot went out, everybody started running. Police say the 15-year-old victim was merely walking through the hallway changing classes when he was hit by a stray bullet. Investigators say the bullet hit him in the fleshy part of his right hand between his index and middle finger. The bullet apparently shattered bones in his hand and broke one of his fingers. He is scheduled for surgery to have the bullet removed. This is an incident which could have occurred anywhere. Administrators say the school has no history of violence, but does have what it calls an anti-gun policy. It states any student found with a gun will be expelled for at least a year. What we do have is, is a policy that if anyone says there's a weapon in school, that student would be brought down immediately. Uh, asked to empty his pockets, a locker would be searched. We don't, we don't treat these, uh, these reports lightly. Mayers is being charged as an adult. He could face 5 to 15 years behind bars if he's convicted. In Central Islip, Nicole Nogid, News 12.